At the Met these days, if you take a right by the Romans, you'll find Chuck Berry's guitar. And beyond are many more. The entire history of rock and roll in a single exhibit called Play It Loud. Go, go, Johnny, go, go. Johnny. We really wanted to tackle the subject of musical instruments and the many different ways that rock and roll musicians have used them. The muse for the creation of music, the tools for the, the performing of music, and of course as an art museum it was really important that we represent the visual uses. I was really keen to, to be able to learn whatever I could to make it come along, and I'm sure that everybody who was approached felt it the same way. When I was about 23 years old, I was here in New York, and there was a band called Mountain, and a great guitarist named Leslie West. And um, I was pestering Leslie all the time, going, Leslie, how do you do this? How do you get that tone? How do you, you know, show me this lick, please, please. And he got so tired of me, he said, he picked up one of his guitars and he said, here, you can have this. The last thing I remember, I was running for the door. I arrived in New York, I moved here with a guitar in one hand and a suitcase in the other in 1968. The very first morning that I woke up, I came straight to the Met. I had heard so many beautiful things about it. It was about 50 years ago that I actually did that, and it's such an honor to be here and have one of my guitars hanging on the walls here at the Met. It just it doesn't get any better than that. I've got three Rock and Roll Hall of Fame memberships. I've got Grammys and, and the biggest first number one and third album of the history of recorded music. But this is really, for me, a sweet spot.